You throw water balloons and light fires. Who the fuck threw a water balloon? Because I guarantee you it wasn't It was the girl in the mask. You've been hanging out there all day, you liar. Shame on you, liar. Shame on you, liar. Shame on you, liar. It wasn't that, liar. Cameras, please. This is the perfect fucking example. You guys throw water balloons, burn flags? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Cameras, please. This is the perfect example of how... A, 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 lot of a white privileged male Everybody can speak over a non-binary trans female. This that is a is perfect not example fair. of cultural Marxism at its Get best. Out. No, this is a perfect please. example of Stop cultural Marxism. This is a perfect this example, is a perfect of, example of why they, oh, they, push you. Can, push they can speak over a non-binary trans femme person. They can speak over a non-binary trans femme person, and they can see nothing wrong with it. They can see nothing wrong. With it. These people, these people can see nothing wrong with speaking over transgender people. They don't see anything with wrong as cis people speaking Violence over never us. The answer. Our voices are always silenced. Our voices are always silenced. And they never let us speak. They never let us speak. And when we're angry, they act like they can be entitled to police how we're angry. We're angry because we're tired of being speaking over. We're tired of being talked over. Trans people are tired of being talked over. People of color are tired of being talked over. By fucking white men like that. We're fucking tired. Trying to calm him down, please. This was actually part of that community. We had Harriet Tubman. We had Rosa Parks. We had Martin Luther King. We had those people that are miscredited, misquoted, who actually said the president of the liberation of black, brown and black people in this community. So when you're talking about liberation of black and brown community, and you are asking the black and brown community to participate, to vote Bernie Sanders, you have to remember, you have to ask yourself what you're going to do for the black community because we have no obligation to play on your white supremacist ideology. It is not our job. It is not our job to play into your ideology. Our job, your job, is to elevate the experience of black and brown people. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been here for the last three days. My experience as a person of color and I've seen black women who's been marginalized out of these spaces, has been silenced by a lot of people, including, you want me to be truthful? Bernie Sanders peacekeepers who's been silencing people to able to speak about issues that pertaining to marginalized people because they're so concerned about having to elevate a politician before poli elevating the experience and issue in this country. I will say, I will say something. It is not your place. It is not your place and this is a person of color speaking. Okay, so are you allowing us to speak? Are you allowed? Are you? Are we allowed to speak, or do we need to bow to you? Should I bow to you as a white a person? Should I bow to you? Should I bow to you? Should I kiss your feet? Should I kiss your feet? Sorry, master. Should I kiss you on your feet? <laughs> well, oh, that was so coming weird. from a black female, I would just like to say that no one deals with the struggle that the black woman deals with. Regardless of whether you're a woman, whether you be Mexican, Indian, whatever the fuck you are, nobody deals with the struggle of a black woman. So before we get all of these feminists in here and whatnot, which is fine, let's just acknowledge who's actually struggling right now. The black woman is seen as dirty. The black woman is seen as unintelligent. The black woman is seen as something that is just vile. I don't know any other person that has to deal with what the black woman has to deal with. 
the discretion that we go to. The black woman is undesirable. That's what I've been told my whole damn life. But let me tell you something. I am the hottest shit since sliced bread. You know why? Everyone, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Okay, so I'm trying to address her directly and as a human being face to face. And I don't want to turn my back to her. And I don't want to yell at her on this car if I raise my voice so you can hear me. So Thank you. please stop misjudging anything I do. Okay, you okay. need a little bit of talking to her now, right? So, as I was telling you, I'll speak up a little, but I won't, I won't yell at her. Is that Thank fair? You. That's fair. All right. Okay. Just, just All right. So, what I wanted to tell you, Michaela, is that you have spent time with me, you've been in class with me had all those experiences that you described. And what's amazing to me is despite all of that, you weren't able to form an opinion of me as a human being and what my beliefs are, and to see the extent to which they're in agreement with your beliefs. But you, you, you seem to think that somehow I don't agree with the content of your beliefs. And that's not what's happening from my perspective. From my perspective. I, I don't okay, think you can agree. I, can I, can I say something? Can I, can okay. I just interject really quickly? The moral of Michaela's comment is now the moral of the story is that she wants an apology, yet you respond no. That's 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 my question. I'm just saying, are you gonna are you gonna can I can I finish? Are you going to address the heart of the comment? That's all I want. Are you gonna give an apology? Are you gonna say that you're hearing us? Are you gonna then address the heart of the comment? That's all I want. Are you gonna give an apology? Are you gonna say that you're hearing us? Are you gonna then go to the lengths that she wants you to go to, which to me don't seem very far, but still seem we're not making a judgment on Master Christakis is inherently good like we just want an acknowledgement of hurt and we have yet to get that which we can yeah, yeah. so my question is are you going to say that or not because then i could just leave if you're not going to say that right. <laughs> i've heard from i was at the discussion i was here i'm going to be there on sunday and i'm going to listen but like what i'm listening for i've not yet heard so i'm just asking are you going to yeah. provide that or are you not going to provide that i have to think about the, this idea so the you, idea of apologizing Yes, because let me ask you this. If I ask you to apologize right now for delaying me from all my other obligations to other students, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, the fact that you ask for an apology doesn't mean that the other person, you know, instantly has to say yes. Okay, so, yeah, 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 so the person has to think racist. about what it is that you're asking okay, what it so means. Then, okay, so then my question is, For what, what is the, Tell me what okay, it is. The, 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 For, okay, 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 my question, okay. If I'm in the court so right, Nicholas, games, say, right, and I'm kicking around a soccer ball. The exception is because other people have rights too, not just walk, you. Walk away, walk away. It doesn't deserve to be listened to. I do not. Be quiet. For all students. Do you understand that? As your position as master, it is your job to create a place of comfort and home for the students that live in Tillman. You have not done that. By sending out that email, that goes against your position as master. Do you understand that? Then no, I stop. don't agree with that. Then, then why the fuck did you accept the position? Because who I have the a fuck hired 
heard you. I have a different vision. You should you. step down. If that is what you think about being a master, you should step down. It is not about creating an intellectual space. It is not. Do you understand that? It's about creating a home here. You are not doing that. You're supposed You're to be our advocate. This, you should be at the event last night when you hear a crook on say that she didn't know how to create a safe space for her freshman exilment. How do you explain that? These freshmen come here and they think this is what Yale is? Do you hear that? They're going to leave. They're going to transfer because you are a poor steward Retweet. of the community. You should not sleep at night. We're out. We out. You're disgusting. I get dressed in the morning. I'm triggered. I take a shower. I'm triggered. I get in the car. I'm triggered. I go for a walk. I'm triggered. I leave my house. I'm triggered. I sit in my room all day. I'm triggered. I look at my thin, beautiful sisters and I'm triggered and I just can't get away from